Hey guys, and welcome back to more Rhapsody and Musical Adventure with me, your host, Rabbit, where we concluded previously we had successfully taken down the guardian of the Temple of Gama. It was a centaur, and as a result of that, we were able to acquire the Earth Stone, which we gave to Michael. So we were kind of excited because we were thinking, yes, now Michael and Caroline will be together, and then afterwards, maybe we can talk to Michael and he'll give us the Earth Stone, or the king will give it to us, but... Unfortunately, the king is a douchebag, and even though Michael gave him the Earth Stone, it turns out it was all one big trap anyway, and he never had any intention of letting those two be together, because immediately after receiving it, he still went on about how Michael still broke the law by sneaking into the castle, so he had him executed. And as you can imagine, Caroline was just distraught, like completely distraught. So anyway, that's kind of how that all ended. And then we went back to Care of Caro and we learned that Caroline had taken Michael's body to the ice temple. So we are here right now and also making our way towards white snow. So I'm going to swap out some folks. Elkoon is 13. So that's how we're going to roll for right now. So let's get going, guys. And oh, great, it's this dungeon again, but it's blue this time, guys. Ugh. So awesome. No change I see still with this stop. But that's okay. I wonder what monsters are in here. What's this? Paragum. We have so many items that I don't even know really what they do. <laughs> I probably need to go through and sell more. Ooh, white winds. Those are like blue griffins and werewolves. They're just blue versions of the wolves that we've encountered earlier. I think we've come across wolf creatures. Or at least I think I have off camera in some dungeon. At this point though, I'm pretty happy with some of the... Ooh. I kind of want one of these griffin looking things though, guys. Like, not gonna lie to you. Um... Uh... I don't know what to do. I kind of want to kill all of them or attack everyone, but we'll just hold off and I'll put Elkun a little bit closer and he can cast Storm, which yes, reaches everybody. So anyway, the last episode was really sad. And I remember the first time I played this and that scene came up, I actually was a little bit distraught. I don't know, it just caught me off guard. I had spoken to my husband about this that when you play this game, you know, it's got such a silly tone and there are just so many ridiculous scenarios and shenanigans that go down that you don't really expect there to be such serious situations that also arise. So, I don't know, it just caught me off guard. Like, I wasn't expecting that to be the result of bringing the Earthstone back. Like, I don't know, you would have imagined that perhaps the king would have just begrudgingly granted them permission to get married. So, I don't know. It was really sad the first time I saw that, and it still touches you in a way because you just can't imagine people really being that way, but you know there are people out there who are just that kind of person, so it's just really sad. But it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Oh, well, let's do this. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, uh, great. Lots of pathing, it seems. Oops. I do that like every single fucking time. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I feel like every time there are stairs, when the perspective changes. Oh, great. I don't know where this is taking us. No white winds for me. That kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah. Where are we, guys? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like we've just taken a really long stretch and gone up a lot of stairs. But let us keep going. Ooh, illustration 12, cool. Let's check this out. Oh man, Elku needs some health here. <laughs> yeah, this is another one of those images that I believe is in the loading screen when you're loading one of your saves. So that's really cool. Of course, when you see it in that sense, it's in like a, I think a sepia color. Uh, let's go ahead and heal Elkun up a little bit. Although I think he's ready to be swapped out, so maybe that was a waste. 
Nope, he's not, actually. Okay. Well, let's go all the way back, I guess. We ran all the way up here. I'm not even sure where we're supposed to be. I'm having no luck catching those griffins, either. I don't know what's up with that. I guess there just must be some monsters that are easier to capture than others. Woo! Elkoon just hit level 15, so it's time to swap him out. And we'll just grab Dark Knight. I guess we'll kind of just go in order here. Okay. So yeah, let's keep going. Uh, wherever it was that we came from in the first place. I'm not really sure. We'll just kind of run back this way, I guess. And more stairs? Uh-oh. I may be lost, everyone. This might be bad. <laughs> this might be very, very bad. All right, another level for Albatross. So he's catching up nicely. Oh, shit. Did I just come from this way? It might be better for me to just... You know what? Let's take a teleport. Because with all the fights, I can't... I can't handle it, guys. All right, let's start over. <laughs> let's start over. This might just be easier in the long run than me trying to retrace my steps here. So, okay, what did we do last time? Um, I think we were good, right? Still no griffins, geez. This is not working out well for me. And I think at that point we had gone north and, right? I think we went north and then to the other side. Uh, I don't know. Let's just keep going this way. <laughs> oh, God, guys. All right, Dark Knight just got where he needed to be. So let's swap him out for Flare. Oh, and Albatross and Ariel are both, um, it seems, what is that? Light? Right? Holy, that's what it's called in this. Well, whatever. So let's keep on trucking. God, let's just go this way. I wonder where fucking Michael and Caroline are. Well, with all these fucking stairs, it seems like I might be here for a long time. Just... <gasps> oh, this might be where she buried him. Oh, here lie Michael and Caroline? Oh my god, guys, that's so sad. She must have killed herself. Miss Cornette, you're Miss Cornette, right? I'm Caroline, the former Princess of Frogburg. Remember me? I just wanted to thank you for everything. I spoke with Michael, and we decided that we wanted to start our lives over. We were being selfish before and didn't think about the others. Because of our selfishness, we had made other people suffer. We would like to make up for what we did by joining your quest, with the hope of being reincarnated. Will you let us join your party? Of course. Thank you very much. I'm sure that we will be of great use to you. Thank you. I would like to repay your kindness by joining you. So we are going to get two new puppets, Caroline and Michael. So let's go ahead and check them out. And I should still have plenty of room, so the frogs have joined our party. I don't quite understand their dialogue, though, when they're like, blah, 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 we've been selfish, rah, rah, rah. Because the only thing I can think of them really being selfish about is her committing suicide, maybe? Is what she's referring to? I don't know. And I don't know why they always fucking start at level one. That is incredibly lame and aggravating. But I'll kind of do one at a time, I guess. Who knew my mermaid would kind of be leading the ranks here? But anyway, we'll check out their info. They're both water, as you can see. So here are her stats. And here are Michael's. So not too shabby, honestly. We're looking good. Definitely don't have enough stuff to equip to everyone. I mean, Albatross is only sporting one thing that I had given him, so that's not too good. But anyway, now to figure out where the hell we were going. All right, let's continue this crazy dungeon crawl and hope that, oh God, 
we reorient ourselves soon. Well, at least we found them, so that's really nice. And shit. Uh, I guess, do we just go back this way, maybe? Yay, Caroline learned a new spell, so that's pretty fun and dandy. I'm not sure. I wonder if Michael just learns a different set of spells. Oh my god, guys. This is not going to work. I'm just going to use another teleport, or teleporter is what I should say. I just don't want to try to fucking make my way through this. It's, it's too much for me. Way too much for me. So, for the second time, let's start over. Okay, so we're coming in here. Let's go in here. Uh, I probably just need to focus too. Alright, I think we went up. And then we took this path. Um, and then I think we continue this way. I really don't know where we are. Like, to tell you guys the truth, I, I just... I don't know! Um, so we're just gonna run this way. I don't think we've taken this path before. So this is the way I'm gonna go. And if this leads to another dead end, I might just have to do this without you guys. Because I don't want a whole episode of me trying to figure out where the fuck I am and how the fuck to get out of here. It's just not fun. Caroline's climbing in rank though. I think she's like level nine now, so that's nice. I'll swap her out with Michael pretty soon. <gasps> yes, guys, it only took almost an entire episode, but we did it. White snow, here we go. I'm actually gonna run back to Orin, or maybe I should go to Mother Green. I need to buy some shit. I like, well, Whatever, let's just go to White Snow first. I'll do it off camera. Um, I think this might be my final episode anyway. Um, it's getting kind of late and I still need to get ready and do some shit. So, yeah. I'm supposed to look for the prince, but I'm stuck here. I'd probably get fired if I returned to the castle with nothing to show. I doubt you'd get fired. This is White Snow, a town filled with snow. Enjoy the world of snow. Note. <laughs> this is what happens when you do a direct translation. Okay. Atlas, USA. Very funny. A kid named Albert is missing. Oh. I imagine we're going to be the ones to find him. All right, but let's first, you guys know the drill, do our looting and talking. Albert's mother was really happy when Albert became Gilbert's apprentice. Who the hell is Gilbert? I love how people just talk to us like we're from here and know what the hell they're talking about. I honestly don't know what, what they're saying. And I don't want to blow that yet, my horn, because I kind of want to just talk to everyone first. And fuck, it's a lot of enodium. There's a guardian on the top floor of the Tower of Ninetale, and supposedly it's protecting the Thunderstone. Oh shit, well that's, that's what we need to grab. What do you want? I'm not in a good mood today. Okay, well, fuck you then. Albert went to the Tower of Ninetale to find a cure for his mother's fever. Uh-oh, that sounds like a bad idea. Ever since Albert left, our master's been in a really bad mood. Oh, is this the master? Okay, why don't you just go find him if he's in this tower? You can't get in the Tower of Ninetale without the help of our master. Apparently you can, because some little kid named Albert did it. So you guys need to step up your game. Are you a poacher? No. That's good to know. The nine tails are really important to us. We depend on them for our living. What do you mean? If I say yes, don't even bother going to the tower if you value your life. You're not thinking about stealing the enodium from nine tails, are you? No, I'm not. Somebody has already started to suffer from nine tail fever this year. Poor Albert. Poor Albert, poor me. Hey, can anyone hear me? Is anyone out there? Big bro? <laughs> that voice. Dude, it's me, kid. Hey, bro, it's me, Tell. Yeah, we the three Egg Brothers are back in business. Thank you, Cornette. If it wasn't for you, I would never have seen Kid again. Not so fast. Let me out of here first. Hold on, dude. Uh, hello. You can't get me out of here by yourself, duh. I forgot. Dude, and I thought I was stupid. It's gonna be tough becoming a real hero hanging around you guys. Shut up. Just let me out of here. Cornette, will you please... Please let my brother out and let him join your party. Okay, thank you. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, video game. You are ridiculous. So here we go. We are going to blow our horn. 
and we're going to get the third and final egg brother. Thank you, Miss Cornette. I'll do my best to serve you. So Billy has joined our party, and we'll look at him in a little bit. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to talk to you again. I want to finish talking to all the inhabitants here. And I think I need to make room. Ooh, 200 and some anodium. And oh my god, that bear rug is pretty disturbing, I have to say. What do you have to say? I can't believe Albert would go to the Tower of Ninetail alone. He's always been a good boy, never breaking the rules, you know? It's nobody's fault that I got the disease. Fate has it in for me. Oh, that's his mom. Shit, can I leave? Looks like that's the store. We'll check that last. I don't want to keep you guys here with me too long. Like I said, I think we're going to just go ahead and end today's episode here. I wonder where Albert went off to. We've already determined he went to the Tower of Ninetale. In order to become a hunting expert, many people become or became Gilbert's apprentice. People respect you when you become an expert Ninetale hunter. It's a dirty job, but someone has to do it. I saw a person with black wings flying gracefully through the forest. That wasn't until she hit a tree face first because she was showing off. I thought adults were supposed to be smart. So I guess that was Crodia, and she did not execute her moves properly. But I might have to take my mermaid out of my party for a little bit. I don't remember how many puppets are left, but I think we're getting kind of close. Bear the cold. Gilbert is the best hunter in the world. Okay, good for Gilbert. Let's just see what they've got. I've got a good amount of money. Hey, not too shabby. Still not ideal. I might just... Oh, God, I don't know, guys. I feel like I'm poor in this game, and I shouldn't be. I need to probably spend more time catching and selling monsters, but that just... I don't want Cornette to get any more overpowered than she already is, so... You guys don't have to worry about that. So I think that concludes everything here. We talked to everyone here in White Snow. So what I'm going to do is I will save here with you guys. I will probably, off-camera, just make some side stops to places to just kind of see what items I want to purchase and kind of divvy up. Since now we have three new puppets, we have Caroline, Michael, and now Billy. And I think we have maybe one, possibly two slots that are open. I'm gonna just have to put my mermaid away, Ariel away for a little bit until I at least can get all of my puppets to recognize their dreams and be fulfilled. So that might be what I have to do. And I just got to get Cora out of my party because I never use him and I don't like him. So he's got to fucking go. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I am your host, Rabbit, and this is my playthrough of Rhapsody Musical Adventure. I appreciate you watching me today. When we come back together, likely this weekend, we will, I guess, go to the Tower of Ninetail to find this kid named Albert, and hopefully everything will kind of work out, but somehow I imagine we're going to end up helping find whatever the cure is for his mom's Ninetail fever. So you'll just have to wait, and we will find out when we resume next time. Take care, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.